Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. We continue our holy days this week. Today is the Feast of St. Juan Diego. If you're of Spanish background, specifically from Mexico, St. Juan Diego is probably one of your favorite saints, although not just reserved for those from Mexico. But when we think of Our Lady of Guadalupe, St. Juan Diego is the man to which the Blessed Mother appeared to. So let's talk about this a little. For some of our listeners may not know the beautiful story of St. Juan Diego. Well, Juan Diego was a very simple man back in 1531 in which he had the special gift of receiving an apparition of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which means that Mary appeared to him. And so near Mexico City, in Tepeyac, I believe it's pronounced, Juan Diego was told by the beautiful mother of Jesus, Mama Mary, that she wished to have a church built on the site of her apparition. Juan Diego went and told the bishop, but the bishop didn't believe his story. And so Juan Diego went back and waited for another apparition of the Blessed Mother. Mary appeared to him once again and asked Juan Diego to gather flowers in his garment and then to go and present the flowers to the bishop. And this would be his proof that indeed she had appeared to him. While this didn't make sense to Juan Diego, he did as he was told and so gathered the flowers in his garment. As he presented himself to the bishop, and when the flowers were removed from his garment, what was left was the beautiful image of what we now call Our Lady of Guadalupe, this beautiful woman. And so the bishop realized very clearly that this was a sign from God, and he believed that Juan Diego indeed was given the gift of an apparition of the Blessed Mother. And so, to this very day, the site of the apparitions of Mama Mary in Mexico is one of the highest, most visited pilgrim sites in the world. Along with Fatima and Lourdes, Guadalupe is a place in which many, many, many people go to, to pray, to ask God to bless them, to seek healing in their lives, physical in relation to their bodies, or perhaps in relation to relationships or other things, to thank God for the gift of work, to thank God for yet another beautiful miracle that was given to the humble saint we celebrate today. So Juan Diego's cloak continues to be on display to show the beautiful image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. If you're just listening to the podcast, I invite you to look at the image Uh, For those of you who just watch online, you'll see that John Paul chose for us the beautiful image of Our Lady of Guadalupe that you may have seen before and not realize that that's the image of of the Spanish uh, Virgin Mary. What's so beautiful is that whenever the Blessed Mother appears to a particular culture, she always appears as one of the people. So you'll notice in Our Lady of Guadalupe, she has the same... Uh, skin and texture as the people of that time as well. So it's this connecting with the culture when we know that obviously she would have been Middle Eastern. So the reality, friends, is um, this relic of Juan Diego is still on display in the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico. And now St. John Paul II canonized him back in 2002. And he was one of the patron saints of the World Youth Day in Toronto Uh, back in 2002 as well. So, friends, we are called to be inspired by the humble simplicity of Juan Diego, regular guy who loved God, who was trying to provide for his family. He wasn't a priest. We often think about saints as priests and nuns. This was a layman who continued to do great work for God, 
by doing exactly what he was to do, to live a holy life within the world. And so we give honor and praise to God for the gift of Juan Diego. We thank God for the apparitions of our Blessed Mother at Guadalupe and throughout the world, which are continual reminders to us of the presence of God, of the importance of prayer, and our need to be pilgrims on the daily journey that we call life here on earth. Until that day when God will call us to be like Juan Diego and so many of the saints to be with him in heaven. And so let us call upon the intercession of this humble friend of God to assist us in achieving holiness. St. Juan Diego, pray for us. For God's Playbook friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Buzzsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks. And God bless.